our classes that we attend, it's Saturday from 10am uh, to 3 in the afternoon with an hour break. Uh, we have two sessions in the morning and in the afternoon. Uh, we have people that come from golf, uh, news, we've had photographers, we've got people that come through from OK Magazine, um, The National, all these kind of places that come to lecture and guide us and then they would share their experience and give us good notes and stuff and then they would also put us to a test where we have to present something that we learned or um, something like that in class which is also quite interesting and fun to go through. Um, the lecturers are quite motivating, some of them are really funny and some of them give you the real facts of what the industry is about. So it's, um, I guess it's all rounder, you know, it's, it's fun, serious and good times as well. Team work sometimes, individual work, um, you get assignments to do and then you get feedback from your assignments and that's how you learn and grow on the course. I think on two levels the kinds of individuals who should be considering a course like this are individuals who are currently in uh, the business of communications, uh, the marketing communications function uh, and want to make a lateral step or a, or, or a further um, um, an increased step up in their career in terms of their uh, practical day-to-day -day operational experience and knowledge and secondly those individuals who are coming straight out of an academic setting perhaps university um, uh, and have a clear idea or have an interest in what actually takes place in the communications field or this course will position them very strongly for uh, entry into a communications-based career. Then I'll see here again. So, it, 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 unfortunately, we have to keep reinventing ourselves. For me personally, I find it very useful because I work in PR and uh, writing experience that I had here doing my tasks assigned by uh, WMA they help me to learn how to write press release, how to develop an article, which is, first of all, it's interesting to be a writer yourself, to try yourself to be a journalist. Um, and secondly, of course, I used it for my work and performed in my, at my job, which gave me additional credit. Decide and tell you what they're doing today for tomorrow. And so those three editors are going to come by uh, so, so far we've had uh, fantastic lectures on print journalism, we focused a lot on that. Uh, you know, we, we were taught how uh, an article has to be constructed, what to include in an article, what not to include, uh, the correct way of uh, portraying a, a certain topic, how to remain objective. Um, we've also covered uh, different types of articles including a traditional news report, feature articles. Uh, we've learned a lot as well about uh, photo journalism. Uh, and the captions that come along with it and the importance of uh, visual aid when it comes to uh, print and online articles. It's really helped to develop my writing skills. Uh, it's really uh, interesting to meet the people who actually work in the media, uh, the editors, Golf News, uh, people in PR, uh, OK Magazine, so all um, different um, media backgrounds but people are actually in the industry and you get to hear firsthand uh, what's good about working in media and what's um, not so great but overall uh, it's very informative and you're hearing it like I say directly from the people who are in the business so it's, it's exact.